Management, the communication files, brought to you by Managers of a New Era. The members of Managers of a New Era are Robert Gilafasai, Catherine Hanau, Alexander Klinger, Courtney Madison, and Catherine Rarisi. Throughout this presentation, we will discuss our show's inspiration, the general concepts, the target market, the characters, the milestones, the episode guide, and we will get a chance to meet the producers behind the show. The inspiration for the show came about when five producers were brought together to pitch the next award-winning TV show. We accomplished this by casting the greatest actors known to man. Our star-studded cast was formed to help exemplify the importance of communication through the workplace in this new summer hit. Management. Communication Files. The general concept of this show is to illustrate the evolving cycle throughout the workplace for all members of the workforce. Through the season we see Stephanie, a new manager, do her best to run communications division. She sees that her behaviors are pushing her employees away and she must change for the good of the department. Other characters in the show are her employees, Bridget, Rich, Nathan, and Patricia. Each episode is used to determine the essential skills needed for these protagonists and to succeed in the workplace. Season 1 consists of seven episodes, in which we see the team evolve into a top-notch group. This feel-good show will have you watching Reaching for Tissues. The target audience for management, the communication files, is the general workforce between ages of 22 and 60. The main character of the show is Stephanie, who is a new boss, and since she is new, she runs things differently because she wants to keep a tight ship, possibly the one character that needs the most improvement, the one who probably has the most to gain from the following processes of management. The thing, is compelling, the thing that is compelling about this character is she acts with good intentions but always seems to fall and become, becomes a negative outcome. Rich is the communications board operator, which, is the which in this workforce is the position directly below Stephanie. When Stephanie got her job, Rich was also going for the same position. This leads to some animosity between the two, and the tension is obvious. This character has a cocky attitude and works with a chip on his shoulder. He seems to butt heads with other em other employees of the workplace, and what is compelling about this character is seeing if he will be able to put aside his grievances with Stephanie to have a well-rounded workplace. Patricia is the exact opposite of Bridget. While she works closely to Bridget, the personalities couldn't be further apart. Patricia doesn't like how things are done either. However, she is very reserved, and the only person she complains to is Bridget. Patricia is also new, and because of this, she feels that if she keeps to herself, she will not upset her co-workers. She has the most to gain through this because she has the most to learn about developing a healthy work ethic. Bridget is below Rich, and she works closely with another co-worker, Patricia. She is essentially the leader of the duo as they run the coordination throughout the communications with their team. She takes orders from Rich, who takes orders from Stephanie. She is outspoken, and at times causes controversy because she never holds her she never holds her opinion back. She doesn't agree how things are done by her superiors and is usually the one who runs the human resources manager. Nathan. Her and Nathan also have a close bond due to the fact that she is always referring to professionalism. Nathan is the human resources manager. He usually deals with Bridget and Stephanie. He is the voice of reason as he is trying to help keep the group collected to achieve their overall goal. He doesn't talk a whole lot about himself, because he is focused on the team as a whole. He is the most well-rounded employee of the team, and has been working the same position for a decade, and knows how to do his job. In this next section of our presentation, we will discuss each milestone we had to overcome in order to create our show, Management, The Communication Files. Milestone 1 the objective of this milestone was to create character profiles and execute a summary of the first four episodes. Milestone 2. With the assistance of the group, each student was requested to, to develop a portion of the five storyboard using our creativity in developing our own details and transformation. The main goal for this milestone was to present the context of any management myth that one may have. 
Milestone 3. We had to create storyboards with a booklet in which we identified and summarized each portion of the milestones we had already created. And then lastly, Milestone 4. We had to complete drafts previ previously executed and generate a full booklet draft. The plot of this show is about St. Petersburg General Hospital, which is a level 1 trauma center and one of the biggest hospitals in the region. One of the most important departments in the hospital, whether people know it or not, is the communication office. This is where the main switchboard is located. Other than operating the switchboard, the employees and communication office have various other responsibilities, like following code procedures and dealing with pagers. The manager, Stephanie, was the type of person who was fun and pleasant one minute, then a mean micromanaging supervisor breathing down your neck the next. This sort of personality made it difficult for her workers to do their job well. She also has a habit of doing a poor job at scheduling her employees. Several people have tried speaking to her about it and have gotten nothing back but excuses and a negative attitude. Most of the employees are trying to find other jobs and she doesn't even realize this. The episode development is as follows. Episode Episode 2. We focus on decision making and how Nathan, the human resources manager, decides to solve a conflict that has arose between Bridget and Stephanie on how the workload is not being evenly distributed. Here is where Nathan begins his transformation into a model employee. We also touch base on arising conflicts between Patricia and Rich. Episode 3. The conflict between Patricia and Rich heats up. Organization control is emphasized and because Patricia is new, slack needs to be picked up. Rich is who has to pick it up and is not happy about it, and becomes condescending towards Patricia. Bridget and Nathan get involved to help to solve the issue. We then find Patricia is evolving into a better worker and who speaks up more. Another conflict arises between Bridget and Stephanie, this time involving Rich. Episode 4. We focus on communication and the interpersonal skills, which highlights the conflicts involving Bridget. Nathan focuses on conflicts which Stephanie and Rich and helps Bridget evolve in her new communication skills, which she has lacked. We see Bridget and Patricia communication and skills increase to help round out the team. At this point, Rich has become fed up with Stephanie. Episode 1, introduction to the characters as well as the workplace setting. Also introduce the weakness of the group and how they aren't managed to their full potential. This episode also highlights the downfalls that need to be improved for each character. Episode 5. Being that Rich and Stephanie have a conflict about how they feel that the team should be ran, the topic that is focused on is managing the groups and teams. Nathan helps em emphasize the importance of these two working together to help run the team. Stephanie becomes stubborn and it is up to Rich to develop into a good leader to help run the team. This is where we see a connection between Rich, Patricia, and Bridget. They form together to think of a way to reach out to Stephanie to find a foundation of control. Episode 6 Nathan, as well as the rest of the team, confronts Stephanie with their issues and how they feel they can improve. This is the first time she actually listens and here is where they see improvement of Stephanie as a character. With her improvement, this is where we cover the topic of foundation of control and how it is important to have everyone on the same page. We also reflect on the evolving of the other characters. And finally, episode 7. The topics that were covered are reiterated, and how these topics relate to their main topic, in which we want to focus on which is what makes a good manager in the workplace. We also s show the workers in action to once again emphasize the character in involvement. Management. The Communication Files was brought to you by Lisa, who played Stephanie, Rob, who played Rich, Courtney, who played Patricia, Catherine, who played Bridget, and lastly, Alexander, who played Nathan.